Hi everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStampIt.blogspot.com and today we're going to be working with the Hello Kitty cartridge. And I want to make the strawberry here that's on page 32, so I've got my paper all loaded here. The red is first on to the right hand side, so let's go ahead with making the strawberry and we're going to need to push the close close line, which, let me show you this, so why we would need to push this. This thing here says close close and it's the strawberry in the bottom corner because we're going to separate the pieces out rather than make it a silhouette feature here. So we're going to do the strawberry. So first we push the close close which is what the diagram said to do and the strawberry is the fourth one in and we're going to cut this to about three inches. So let me go ahead and pull this down to three inches over here on this dial. Um, let me make sure you guys can see this dial here. All right, so go ahead and do the three inches on here. There we go. And it'll show your three inches over here. And go ahead and press cut. And this will be cutting to the three inches. So the next thing we need to look at doing here is the little stem on top. And the little stem will need to push a shift. And then the close, close button already has been highlighted because we did that previously. So let's... Um, arrow up here so I'm going to unload the paper to get it to the top and then reload the paper uh, let's see here and that's arrow over to the black let's do the black first since the black is right here we'll just do the silhouette alright so I got this loaded so change to plans here since we have this already loaded let's do the blackout feature for the back of the strawberry and this is what will lay the red and the green on top of that so let me do the black here. So that would be the silhouette feature. So silhouette and the strawberry. It's set to three inches, which is perfect. It's going to be the background to lay our red strawberry on. And also, actually I said silhouette. Sorry guys, I meant to say shadow. Because we need it to be a complete blackout rather than the silhouette, which would be um, a see-through feature on that. And that's what the silhouette would look like, but we want it to look like this, which is blackout. So that's cut. Now let's go ahead and arrow up on the paper here. Arrow over. There we go. And let's do here the stem. So the stem's going to be the shift key and the close close key. So close close, and then we're going to hit shift and the strawberry which will get us the little stem here in the corner and you'll see that also light up here on this screen not sure if you guys can see that or not. there you go yeah so there's the screen and you can see it we'll go ahead and hit cut and now what I'll do is just wait for this to print out and when I come back you guys will get to see how this will all assemble Hey everybody, let's get started. So what I've done here is just take a Treading Water Scalloped Fiskars, punch this out so you have a scalloped edge, and went ahead and glued this um, strawberry together. One thing I noticed that I did, I said shadow on here, but this is the shadow. Look how much bigger that is, and this is blackout. So you definitely want to push the blackout button, not the shadow button. So I just wanted to clarify that really quickly. And I took this uh, rectangle here, cut it out, wrap this fibers around here. They're called funky fibers. I got them from the internet. I actually got them from eBay from a gal and she usually tries to color coordinate them. And I can't remember the name of the gal but anyway um, they're really fun to add to the card so I'm going to add the strawberry here maybe a little more toward the middle and I put some uh, some of this tape that I got here this foam mounting foam tape that I got. I get it from the dollar store and absolutely love it because it's just a buck and you can cut it any size if you need a bigger or smaller or whatever you need. What I've done here is take You're So Sweet. When I bought the stamp pad set that I have here, I got this little mini stamp set and uh, I got this on the internet from eBay and there's one that says You're So Sweet so I went ahead and just took that and stamped it onto some of these little oval shapes that I have here and um, I'm going to put it right here, but anyway, let me get a little of the sticky tape off of the back here so I can show you guys the finished look. But I just think that's too cute. This one's going to go to my mom because I just adore her. So thanks so much for watching, guys.